continuing to follow a developing story out of East Harlem, New York, in Manhattan, where a gas explosion has leveled two buildings. So far, three people have lost their lives, nine people remain missing, and dozens of others were rushed to the hospital. Right now, firefighters are still sifting through the rubble, trying to figure out exactly what went wrong. Meanwhile, folks in our area are watching this story closely. And with that part of our coverage, we head over to WFMZ's Dwayne Parker, who's live in the Burst Newsroom. Dwayne? That's right, Rob. As you know, our region is no stranger to these gas explosions. Now, I have been in contact with UGI throughout the day, and they say they are already taking preventative measures. But some residents say now is the time to take this issue one step further and really get involved. I was terrified to see what happened. Isamac Torres Figueroa contacted 69 News after she began to see crews outside of her home last week in the 300 block of South Fifth Street in Reading digging up the streets. It wasn't until she asked contractors that she was told it was a gas leak. Officials say the situation has been fixed. <laughs> But with all the gas explosions happening lately, including Wednesday's explosion in East Harlem, Isa Mack says she's on edge now more than ever. For me, it's how do we minimize the loss of life? I'm no, by no means an expert. I'm here, a concerned citizen, saying we have to be more vigilant. Since January, UGI has also been conducting surveys to check for gas leaks and will continue to do so throughout the cold weather. UGI is also in the middle of an almost $100 million project to replace 67 miles of cast iron and bare steel throughout its entire service area to prevent gas explosions. But concerned residents like Torres Figueroa are now calling on local leaders to get involved. Through our legislatures to say, okay, what are we doing to make sure that this aging infrastructure that has to be upgraded, has to be maintained, is safe? It's just we have to make sure that it's safe. Now, UGI says it has crews ready to mobilize at a moment's notice, 24 hours a day, if there are reports of a gas leak. They also say pay special attention to the smell of sulfur or the smell of rotten eggs. They say if you smell anything like that, get out of the house, take everyone with you, and leave the front door open. Once you're outside, then you can call authorities as quickly as possible. Now, on our website, I'll have many more tips from UGI at WFMZ.com. For now, we're live in the Burst Newsroom. I'm Dwayne Parker, 69 News.